the ipl retention is completed yesterday during the diwali so festive season there were festivities galore for the franchises because they sprung some surprises captains were left out in the cold teams retained their core and you looked at it most of the sides have a clear cut idea about the franchise about the mega auction that they want to go into now in this video i will recap certain key highlights certain key rtms and certain big gains because it we did a very long show yesterday highlighting each and every sides uh, situation now as far as the key highlight is concerned everybody will be now wondering what is the major purse available for each of the auction after the retentions have been completed so it is no surprise that after the end of the mega arc of the retention punjab kings are left with a whopping 110.5 crores in their purse because they retain just two players and both were uncapped rcb are the next with 83 crores dc with 73 crores gt and lsg with 69 crores that is the amount left in the purse of 120 crores the overall purse given to each team was 120 crore out of that punjab kings have done 110.5 they have the most money remaining csk with 55 kkr with 51 srh and mi 75 crores to the t they have managed five retention six retentions how much ever they could manage they did it rr overshot it they can go up to 80 crores they spent 79 crores retaining six players so punjab kings is more the merrier rcb only three players is more the merrier that we will only come to know depending on the buys that they have got in the mega auction now you will all be wanting to know like looking at the number of retainees how many rtms are there for each team so it's no surprise punjab kings because they retain two uncapped players in prab simran singh and shashank singh they will go with four capped you see i have mentioned in short form here is uncapped so four capped players and uncapped uh, uncapped they have got two so pbks with four rcb have gotten three they can go with three rtm options they can either go with two capped and one uncapped or three capped they can use that option in the mega auction that is going to happen delhi capitals can go with two capped or one capped or one uncapped player mumbai indians now because mumbai indians retained five capped players they can only get one uncapped rtm then csk csk can go for either a capped or an uncapped rtm in the mega auction srh because they retained five players all were capped they'll only get on one uncapped same for lsg in this case gt on the other hand will get one capped kkr rr they will both get an na in that sense so KKR and RR have retained six players, and that is why they cannot be retained. They can, they cannot have an RTM in the mega auction. They'll have to go through the buying process. Now, who were the top buys in each franchisee that they retained? Because there was a cap: eighteen crore, fourteen crore, eleven crore, then eighteen and eleven again. For the uncapped, it was four crore. Heinrich Klassen is the most expensive retention in the history of the IPL with 23 crores. Sunrisers Hyderabad invested that much in him. 24.75 is Pat uh, is Mitchell Stark. That might be broken in the mega auction. For RCB, no surprises. 18th year VK18 had to be retained, the number one pick. So 21 crores there also. Nicholas Puran matched that with 21 crores. Jaspreet Bumrah, no surprise, the gold standard of bowling at this point in time. Mumbai Indians had to make him the default first pick. He went for 18 crores. CSK, on the other hand, had two top retainees, Jadeja and Rituraj, at 18 crore apiece. So, looking at the way how it was, CSK went through an unconventional route. They had 18 crores for two players, and then they adjusted Matisha Patiranaspur. Then. 
एम एस धोनी केम थ्रू द अनकैप्ड रूट विथ फोर क्रोर्स Sanju Samson also had 18 crores Rashid also 18 crores more than the captain by the way so Rashid Khan is GT's ultimate pick Sanju Samson is the first pick with 18 crore Delhi Capitals it was Aksar Patel with 16.5 crore so he's the top pick in Delhi Capitals Rinku Singh he became the top pick for RR with 30 with K for KKR with 13 crores Shashank Singh 5.5 crore the only uncapped retention with the top buy in the mega auction in the ipl retention if you look at because all of the others are capped shashank singh of punjab kings was the only uncapped retention with 5.5 crore but then there were certain other surprises also if you look at how the players benefited in the retention just look at it biggest gain dhruv jurel his 2024 price was 20 lakhs he's now been retained at 14 crores 6900% increase nearly 7000% increase in his increment we have to work for rajasthan royals because they give the most generous increments that we have ever seen 7000% from 20 lakhs to 14 crores patidar 20 lakhs to 11 crore mayank yadav 20 lakhs to 11 crore so imagine nearly a four fold if you look at it four digit increment this is truly ipl and economics which are playing a big big role at it dhruv jurel at 14 crore was the biggest retention that you could get and the biggest proportion increase so 14 crores from 20 lakhs 7000 percent increase man oh man that is simply sensational so captains if you have to look at it most former captains didn't make the cut for example kl rahul shreya sayar rishab pant faf duplessy shikhar dhawan sam karan all of them they did not get retained by their franchises and because of that now they'll go into the mega auction pool now these were some of the key highlights in the ipl retention in the coming days we'll be doing on certain teams we'll be recording certain teams as to how the uh, mega uh, the retention worked out for them Let's see how the teams now shape up for the next stage which is the mega auction. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.